Hi, you've clicked on to today's Tropical Tidbit for Friday, August 28, 2015. The thoughts expressed in this video are mine alone, and in making decisions, please always consult the National Hurricane Center and National Weather Service. Well, here's Erica taking an interesting track still today. We had the system move south of Puerto Rico yesterday instead of moving north as expected, and it really just continued that nearly due west motion, now ending up somewhere in here just south of Santo Domingo in the Dominican Republic. The recon plane went in there earlier and found a pressure several millibars higher than yesterday, indicating a weaker low, and uh, having a hard time finding northwest winds now on the back side. So this may be in the process of opening up into a sharp wave axis instead of a closed low. Now what's going on with Erica is that there continues to be an eastward tilt with height. All the thunderstorms to the east of the surface center, the westerly shear has prevented Erica from fixing this problem. It's been there since birth. The shear has prevented the system from becoming vertically aligned, and because of that, all these thunderstorms, uh, as they've progressed westward to the southeast of the circulation, have been jerking the low-level center around, and that's why we got the reformations yesterday that drug it south of Puerto Rico, and now we have the new center uh, has tracked south of Hispaniola instead of north. You can see the broader wave envelope here, southeasterly wind turning northeasterly. There is the wave axis. And at the northern tip of this wave axis is where we were supposed to find Erica today tracking north into this area. And this is when we were going to start getting concerned about the storm. Now it's to the south, and now we're talking about land interaction with Hispaniola. And all these tall mountains really tend to rip up tropical systems. And this is going to be Erica's big problem over the next couple of days. And at this point, we may not see very much left of this storm on the other side. And Given the continuing west-northwest motion, this may just move right up the spine of Cuba as well. And Cuba is very mountainous also. So this could be a very bad track for Erica's survival and also bad in terms of flooding because coming right through these mountains here means a lot of rain. Even if Erica's weak, all of this moist flow just piling in to these mountains means flash floods, mudslides, a big, big issue for Haiti, Dominican Republic, Cuba. Perhaps even Jamaica will get, on, get in on some of the rain there. Um, but uh, probably not as much as these northern islands of the Greater Antilles. So here's the current NHC forecast track. May still have to get nudged a little farther south here as uh, Erica continues to stubbornly move farther south than expected, and so this may be more toward the western edge of the cone here over the next few days. But we're still talking about what could be a track up into the Florida Peninsula or perhaps out into the eastern Gulf, somewhere in here by days three through five. And uh, really, now that it's relocated this far south over the last two days, we're not talking about a track up east of Florida where we could have a hurricane strengthening off the coast. That's kind of coming off the table now as Erica is clearly going to at least die over the islands and then have a chance to regenerate over the eastern Gulf if there's something left of it. That larger wave envelope may still end up over water for a few days, and we'll have to keep an eye on it. But at this point, there is no imminent threat of a strong storm or hurricane coming out of this anytime soon. The primary threat will be, again, rain for the Greater Antilles and then spreading up into Florida and the eastern Gulf Coast, perhaps even into the Carolinas with time, as this ridging uh, to the north, which was going to keep Erica toward the United States, is also making the flow weaker. So Erica will be slowing down in the day three to five uh, time frame, and this could allow a lot of rain to fall over these areas. And some areas need it, like southeast Florida. Others, like west central Florida, do not need the rain, so flooding could become a concern for the United States as well as the remnants of Erica or whatever form the storm is in uh, tracks toward the northwest. So we'll keep an eye on the storm over the next several days. No longer an imminent threat to strengthen, um, but a flooding threat remains. And so, as always, stay tuned to the National Hurricane Center for the latest updates. That's it for today. Thanks for watching.